I'm sorry this video took so long. A lot of you have been asking to see Flynn's reaction to finding out that I'm pregnant, so it is here for you today. But because I'm kind of behind on videos and whatnot, I thought I'd also put in this video. I'm out of breath for no reason. <laughs> I mean, I do have a reason. I'm pregnant. My doctor's calling me. I'll have to go. I'll do this later. Sorry, that was my doctor. <laughs> Y'all, let me tell you, being pregnant is a full-time job. I've had more doctor's appointments in the last month than I've had in my entire life combined. I'm gonna stop talking to you. I'm gonna get to the cuteness of my son finding out that I'm pregnant. And then you're going to see all of the different ultrasounds and doctor's appointments I've had. So if you wanna see the cute little twin babies dancing around in my tummy, stay tuned till the end. And if you're just here to see Flynn react to the news that I am pregnant. You don't have to watch the whole thing. But I love you guys. I'll see you after Flynn finds out I'm pregnant. Okay. Guess what? <gasps> Mommy has a baby growing in her tummy. <gasps> There's a baby growing in there. In my tummy. What do you think? Yeah. Do you want to have a little baby brother or sister? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's inside. Inside my tummy. Not in there. <laughs> Inside my tummy. There's a baby inside there. There's a baby in, in the baby. What? There's a baby in there? Yeah, in there. You want to have a little baby? Well, you're half that long. Do you want to have a little, mommy to have another little baby so you have someone to play with and you can teach them about trucks? He <gasps> 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 gave my hat off. Yeah, yeah you took your hat off. And you can, <laughs> you can sing them songs and you can read them books and you can teach them the ABCs. Fun, guess what? <gasps> the baby's in my tummy, and the baby's gonna grow and grow, and my tummy's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. In here? He's in my tummy, he's inside my tummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's in there. You can't see him yet. Or her, I don't know what it is yet. Can you say pregnant? Pregnant. Can you say mommy's pregnant? Mommy's pregnant. <laughs> mommy's pregnant. Can you say, I'm a big brother? You're gonna be a big brother! <laughs> Flynn, your little baby brother or sister has a present for you. Okay, I'll go get it. Stay right there. Hi. The little baby in mommy's tummy got you a present. Please. What do you think? What? It's a Wow, it's a fire truck. Say thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. <laughs> he totally gets it. Totally gets it. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> So when we filmed that, we did not know that I was pregnant with twins. We also obviously did not know the gender or genders of the babies yet. I was not expecting him to get it at all, but the second I said I was pregnant, he like got excited and was so happy about babies being in my tummy, which just blew my mind. A lot of you wanna know what his reaction was to finding out that I'm having twins. We didn't like sit him down and tell him that I'm having twins. We just kind of started talking about the baby in my tummy. And then when I found out I was having twins, it became there's babies in my tummy. There's two babies in my tummy. And and so we didn't have like a sit down talk, but he does understand that there's two babies in my tummy. The only issue is now he believes that everyone has two babies in their tummy, including himself. But don't take my word for it. Let's talk to Flynn. Do you love the babies in mommy's tummy? Yeah, it's in my tummy. How many babies are there? Three. Three? No, there's not three. How many babies are there? Two. Two. And do you have babies? Yeah, two. Where are, where are your babies? I have two babies. Where? Babies in my tummy. You have two babies in your tummy? Yeah. Are they boy babies or girl babies? Girl babies. Girl babies? Good to know. So yes, Flynn is very excited about the babies and every day he asks me if the babies have come out. And every time I go to the doctor, I come home and he says, did the doctor get the babies out? So he knows they're gonna come out. He obviously does not understand the concept of time yet and that it won't be until he's three years old that he will meet the babies. Speaking of the doctor, let's talk about ultrasounds because I'm only 10 weeks pregnant and I've already had three. Most people only have one by the time they're this far along in their pregnancy, but I've had three. You've already seen one of them. I'm gonna show it to you again here. The first ultrasound we had was under pretty unfortunate circumstances. If you wanna know the full story, you can go watch the video of me announcing that I'm having twins because I explained everything in detail there. But basically, long story short, I thought I was having a miscarriage. I was not. I had a polyp that was causing bleeding and the babies were fine. So I went in actually thinking I was not pregnant anymore. I was very sad. They did an ultrasound and she was like, you're actually very much still pregnant and you have two babies in there. So here's that footage. So. It's just a polyp that you have, but you do have twins. 
<laughs> this is the weirdest day of my this life. Is the weirdest day ever. <laughs> This has been the weirdest day of my life. Oh my God. So that was when I was six weeks pregnant. You're about to see the ultrasound of when I was eight weeks pregnant. Because I've had a loss, because it is a twin pregnancy, because I had the polyp and the bleeding, my doctor just wanted to make sure everything's going okay and check in on the babies as often as she can. And so I went back in uh, two weeks later for an eight week appointment and we got to see the babies again, which was a surprise because when I was pregnant with Flynn, I feel like I only saw him a few times in an ultrasound. Like usually they would just do like a fetal Doppler over my tummy and I'll just hear his heartbeat. So I was not expecting to see the babies and it was total shock and total surprise that we got to see them that day. So here is that footage. Look how much now they look like real humans. Oh you my know? gosh. This is the head. That. This is the body, you know. I'll make it bigger for you so you can see. Wow. Isn't that cute? Cute. You feel cute. You're looking see how you can see like arms and legs? Like yeah, this is a heart beating, so this is a head. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Aren't they cute? Beautiful, equal babies. We love you, babies. We love you, babies. There you go. You're super well loved. There you go. I cannot believe there's two in there. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just love the two like there. that, you know? That's just so cool. Oh there's my nothing God. The two of us here. I'm not wearing pants. Put on some pants, weirdo. <laughs> How exciting we get to see them. I didn't expect that mask because. Yay, the babies. They're little gummy bears. Mm -hmm. They're little cute gummy bears today. That was exciting. Cute little gummy bears. And now I am 10 weeks pregnant and I got to see the babies today, actually. Again, totally surprised that I got to see them again. My doctor is amazing and knows how paranoid and scared I am that something's gonna happen. She also just wants to always check and make sure everything is okay and check the heartbeats and everything is good. So um, I actually got another ultrasound today, which was really exciting. I got to see them and they look like little babies. This is the first time I was like, oh my gosh, they're little humans. They were like dancing around in there and like snuggled up next to each other, even though they're in their own little sacks. They still, like they're so close together, they're just like, hey, what's up, sibling? And they were just dancing and moving around it was so crazy. I couldn't believe how much they were moving around. It just made it real because up until this point, I hadn't seen them moving. They were just like little beans, little dots, and like now they're they're little babies. They're tiny little tiny little babies. Actually, my pregnancy app says that they're the size of a Lego man. So see, look, my baby is the size of a Lego man. Oh my gosh! This says morning sickness should start going away soon, and your little one has teeth. <gasps> There's teeth inside of my uterus right now. Also, morning sickness is not going away. <laughs> my doctor literally called me at the beginning of this video to be like, hey, we need to send you an IV drip to your house to fill you with fluids because you're dehydrated from all the nausea. So. Oh my God. Isn't that so cool? Oh, they're moving all over the place. Hi. Nice, good, thick line between them too. You know, that's a nice, nice, good, thick line between them. So when you look like this, then you can see that one is baby A is gonna be like the one that is the closest to the cervix, uh -huh. and baby B is always going to be the one that's further away from the cervix. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. They look like little babies now. I know, they really look like babies now, right? Oh gosh. So this is baby A. You can see the whole head to butt and everything. Oh, wow. Hi baby A. Hi little B baby. I love it when they look like a peanut. I mean, I'll make a bigger yeah, so you can see them better, but I just think it's so cool when they look like a peanut. 
This is head, little arms. Oh, nice, beautiful little heartbeat. Nice, good, strong heartbeat. What do you think, Will? Here, hold my hand. <laughs> so sweet. Look at your mom. One's 175 beats a minute, one's 176, so they're pretty, pretty close to each other. Nice, yeah. And both of them are moving really nicely. Little legs stick out, too. Isn't that crazy? It's so cute. See, this is the gestation sac, mm -hmm. and this is the amniotic sac, mm -hmm. and this okay. will push out to the wall and stick to it, and that will be your bag of water. Okay. And then this baby also will have the same thing. Yeah. So now you can see the umbilical cord, we have three vessel umbilical cords, isn't that cool? I feel like you would kind of really understand the nature of miracles when you, yeah. like when you can see a baby move inside you. Like, isn't that crazy? Look at it moving. Hello. How are you in there? Are you having your own play date with your brother? <laughs> It's funny too is they do they do this, they'll touch each other too. Really? Yeah, they touch each other all the time. Yeah, thank you. Hi. You're so fun. Wow, oh my gosh. That's So cute. They're so, so cute. Aren't they so cute? I'm obsessed. I just want to throw this out there. We don't know the genders of the babies. I know that my doctor says he or your brother. My doctor was like, I don't know. I think it might be a boy and a girl. She's like, but that's not scientific. Don't trust my opinion on that. That's not a scientific opinion. I just think it is. So you cannot tell right now if they're a boy and a girl. <laughs> you cannot tell. So we do not know the genders. I got the blood test today to find out the genders of the babies. So we'll get the test results back in a couple of weeks, but we'll find out if there's if it's two girls or if there is a boy in there. We won't know if it's two boys or one boy. All we know is they take my blood today and if they only find female blood, then it's two girls in there. If they find some boy, some Y chromosome, um, then they know that there's boys in there. It could be two, it could be one. We won't know for sure until like another month-ish from now. We will see. What do you think? I think if there's a chance, it could be a boy and a girl. But I really feel strongly it's two boys. What do you guys think? Do you think it's two girls? Do you think it's two boys? Do you think it's a boy and a girl? I don't know, I'm so excited to find out. Finding out very soon. Anyway, I'm very excited. I'm very grateful. I'm very happy, I'm very nauseous, I'm very tired. I'm gonna go, but I hope you guys like this video. and. I'll see you very soon. I'm pregnant with twins. What? You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.